Right. I mean, you sip all you want, man. Mm. No one. All right. Are we doing this? What are we doing there? Drew, we're two on one with the Contigos this morning. Mm. I just that's feel fine. like I should point that's that out. That's fine, but how loud is yours when you set it down? Because listen to this. Cork that's bottom. pretty quiet. I don't know. Ah, yeah. That's not too bad. <laughs> that's no good. That's Hi. no good. It's right now, number three. Three and of us. And to celebrate number three, we brought the three of us. Actually, that was not the plan. We literally, this morning, were like, hey, let's shoot an extra one. Hey, Drew, you want to do it? Oh, you forgot your computer? No problem. You can get it later. Let's shoot it right now. <laughs> that's so, exactly how it happened. Andy really wanted to try out shooting three of us, so that's what we're going to do. And we have the new Visconti Rembrandts to show you, which there's some new colors, as well as some new nib sizes. So we're going to actually ink them up, play with them a little bit. I'm thinking Rachel will talk about the color, Drew will talk about the nibs, and I'll just kind of sit here and relax. I will talk about the colors. So, see, Brian, this is why I grabbed all the existing colors. You're like, no, we don't need to show them. There's so many, though, Rachel. There's there like is. ten pens over there. Well, I brought mine goes, too. Anyway, so the rem <laughs> <laughs> the rem we got ten minutes here. We don't have all, all day. Right. Well, I need to explain. The Rembrandts are now basically part of two collections. There's the classic collection, which... I don't have to show because you told me not right to show Right over them. there. We can show. So black, blue, red, which we are out of stock of, and the white marble. This one actually could go both ways. Well, it's part of the classic collection, Drew. This one does kind of <laughs> And does pink kind of look is crazy. a new addition to it. So these are more the kind of standard Rembrandts that you guys are used to seeing. Here's the pink. Uh, it's got a bit of white marble in it. black. The black, yeah. <laughs> and then um, there's a new collection a called the Rembrandt Should Art. Be collection. So these are the three new colors. Mm. I'll just put it down here so you can see better. Sorry. No, you're fine. That forest, dark, dark, this that forest? Dark forest. Yeah. Dark forest. I know, I know. I was, <laughs> I was paraphrasing. That dark forest, though, for real. I'm yeah. not super into green pens most of the time. Green is really tricky, but that's a good looking green that pen. That is a really good looking green. And this is twilight, so it's kind of a burgundy-ish. It's a little hard to see the difference between those two. And this is Eclipse. Bit. So the, the basic the basic thing with these is they actually have a black base with swirls of color as opposed to, you know, a different color. So mm -hmm. up close or together, they look really similar. Independently, you can really see the difference. Yeah. There we go. So yeah. got some nice. nice swirls of color in there. I can't decide which one I like best. I like the green one. Yeah, the green one's the best. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> that's, just, that's just kind of a that's objective. Yeah, that's so, objective truth. It's confirmed. So I asked everybody. <laughs> it's different. Yeah. All right. Guys. So not only do we have new colors, we have new nibs. We do. So here's a little again background situation. Yes. So Visconti is out of the fine steel nibs right now. They are redesigning them. They won't be out until back August half. Yeah, I'm gonna say ish. back half of the year. August. Italian well, August. So uh, so here's, here's the thing though. Later this year. Here's the thing. It is gonna be available in Europe. Yes. But instead of having the nib size indicator like a normal F M B, it's gonna have a circle like a like a dot. And or it's going to be like one dot three. for fine, two dots for medium, three dots. And that's so, exactly so the what US, the U.S. said. We're so like, the U.S. Really? distributor, Coles of London, was like, that's kind of confusing. Kind of. I think we might wait until. So let's get the actual the letters the printed on. There that's why it's later in the year. And so in the meantime. I've seen the these before. <laughs> yes. Because. You have seen these before, Drew. These, oh, uh, the pen, the, the, these unique the uh, nibs. I haven't gotten to that yet. Well. Go ahead, Drew. I was, well, you, you say what you were going to say. I'll keep this one chambered. <laughs> it's there. It's ready. So, since fine are out of stock for a while, Visconti's like, well, we have these beautiful new colors, and we need some nibs to put on them, because uh -huh. the medium are going to, they're the same situation. The medium and the broad will be redesigned, but they, they have some stock of that. So, they went back to the Art of Writing collection. You remember that from a couple years ago? That was what I was going to say. I, I, I got right Oh, off. my goodness. So they're extra fine in 1.5 stubs that they had a surplus of in the warehouse. So they're new, new old stock, I guess, if you will. Mm -hmm. So they're putting them on the Rembrandts and the Van Goghs so that there is something available to sell until the medium eventually comes back in and then they'll be phased out next year. Here's the thing though. These nibs are kind of different. They're designed a little yes. bit differently. They write actually really great. We are I, really pleased. I actually remember that one not being as great as the ones that I've tested here. Yeah. So I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just in my head, but you know. I think maybe they're tuning them a little bit differently, or maybe I think originally when they had this one, they were advertising the extra fine as flexible or no, semi flexible. No flex. And That's really not what I would call it. Oh, no, God. But anyway, it says calligraphy on it, and it has. That's a little two, confusing. It has two breather holes. So this is the 
original Art of Writing pen that came in a set and it had a roller ball and it had all these different parts and pieces. Same nib as what's gonna be on the Rembrandt's and, oh, and on the Van the Gogh's. One? That's yeah, the new that's one. one. Yeah, and then the orange one is the old one. That's the new one right yeah. there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, Real time. <laughs> uh, and, but anyway, it's the same nib, and I think this is only going to be available in the U.S. with these nibs on these pens for like the next six months or so until they get the nibs redone. Part of the reason they wanted them redone was to get greater variation between the fine and the medium, which okay. has always been kind of a thing with the Visconti steel nibs. So we're going to ink them up, actually write with them so you could see what the difference is. So I brought one of each nib size, and I figured we could all ink it up with Visconti blue because blue is the best. Um, you've written with the extra fine, right? I have. Do you find it to be a little like, I mean, not I don't, I don't want to say stubby, but does it put down a little bit more of a flat, sharper line than normal extra fines? When I was writing with it the other day, I feel like I got a little bit of it's a, a uh, hint of stubbness. That's kind of what yeah, I got. I, what I, I really, really like a it. Hint that's of what I stubbness. Felt. A hint of stub. Like yeah. <laughs> just the way it's ground. For some reason, it gives you just a little bit of it. Kind of like a little. It felt a little bit like what the Noodler's untipped nibs. Do you have feel to like. be careful of your angle? <laughs> no, not really. Well, I, mean, I guess we'll find cause, out. Because I mean, it's tipped. It's gonna. It has tipping material, so you don't really need to <laughs> worry about it scratching anything up. But I don't love using tissues for this, but it works in a pinch. I hate extra fine, so I'm really curious what I'll think of this. I, I really love it. I, I really love it. I found it a little, um, no, you you wrote with one that you found was uh, just a little bit feedbacky, right? Yeah. Getting it primed. Yeah. Sorry, I thought I'm lower on ink than I thought it was. Did you just dip it? I'm not sure why you got to pick the green one. <laughs> That's the one with the extra fine. Oh. Mm. That's the one with the extra fine. Well. So what does that mean I get? So it's got a little, it's definitely got a little bit of tooth to it, but I mean, look at how fine that line is. Though. I really like that. This is five millimeter Rhodia dot pad paper. So do it, really do phenomenal. it, do it. So I can flex it out a little bit. So it's got some line variation too. I it wouldn't advertise it as flexible, but it has. Well, too late, we just did. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you can, you Not flexible, not flexible. <laughs> no, we say that, but you can Don't see. Don't call like, us. So there's <laughs> like here, I'm, I'm providing like very little pressure. So like this is, okay, if I do like just the weight of the pen, it's almost no pressure. If I do a little, just a tiny bit of pressure, it spreads it out just a bit. So there's your yeah, stub. Yeah, 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 that's just really cool. Stub. That is really Hint cool. Hint of stub. I dig that. So anyway, you take that one, I'll link up the medium. So you can see the difference. Do you have a 1.5? I do. Right here. You want to count them? Yeah. So this I is hold my the... pens weird, so this is going to be she interesting. Does. And she's got a different hand size. So this was part oh, of the original sense. dream here when thinking about doing it right now. Was like, let's ink up some pens. What are you writing, Drew? Oh, Drew always comes up with the most creative yeah, things to write. Bacon. Something waffles. What? Don't judge me. It says fuzzy waffles, bacon, beans, and cheese whiskers. Just, it's <laughs> nuts in my brain, all right? Oh my gosh. I, it's just true. I don't think that's weird. It's fine. It's okay. Bacon, beans. Beans and bacon have gone together before. All right, so yeah, here's... I with his four-year-old son yesterday. So oh, he did. He has little kid friends. All day. All day. Happy birthday, All Archer. day. We went to Jumpology. I mean, I, uh, was, did you jump? Uh, I was reminded about how pitiful my cardio is, yeah. Oh. That place makes it makes you feel old real Yeah, fast. I was like, oh, no, we're only going to need 30 minutes because I'll get tired after 15, which was true. But then, of course, the kids just kept going. I had to go back and say, hey, can we get more Are time? Are you just dipping me? Not for me, though. I'm fine. No, I'm making them all. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Just pop the cartridges out. So what is this? That is the medium. medium, and the medium is quite quite different. We'll ink them all up and then we'll kind of rate. Dude, I really like this uh, this extra fine. I know you do. I like. I want to make sure that whatever they come out with uh, August writes this well. Lowercase R's. <laughs> That's because you missed that week of school in I third did. grade. I did. My parents took me to Disney World. I never <laughs> learned how to do lowercase r's. It's worth it. My grandma can't cut straight a straight line with scissors because she didn't go to kindergarten. Really? What in the world? That's her excuse. This is super. See, there's very that wet. Again. So that's very wet. And then I got the stub. The stub is actually really, really. I, nice. I like the medium. I like and the I'm, stub I'm a too. broad girl. So here's the 1.5 stub. Ooh, that looks wet. It's pretty wet. But it's a really nice line variation. It's actually quite smooth. So let's try and get all of these on one page here. Can I try? So let's, yeah. Let's try that. Here's the medium. This is fun. This is a fun pen to write with. Ooh, I like this stub. It's you know very what makes smooth. this uh, One thing I did like about these uh, old I need to try the extra fine. True. Drew just bought a new pen. Yeah, they, they, don't worry. They still make these. No, that, that was yours. 
Um, so there you go, Andy. Do you remember how these old Viscontis had this weird little bumpy thing that pulled in and out with the with the clip? Yeah. Like the Saturnos? Yeah. I thought that was really cool. That is cool. Do any other pens do this? Uh, remember this, Rachel? Boop, 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 maybe. Boop, 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 boop. It's rare. Boop, boop. <laughs> Look at this. You're showing a pen. You can't, Look, you can't get this pen anymore. There's a little thing in the back, and when you pull the clip out, it goes boop, boop. Okay, you're not showing me the clip. Well, there's a clip. Yeah, but do the... He's showing the... Boop, boop, boop. It's boop, boop. There we See, go. it goes in and out. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. See that? Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. Well, boop, boop, boop. Not really. <laughs> Only here, folks. <laughs> All right. Well, wait, I want to try... It's wait, action. Is this extra fun? This is a fast-paced segment. Yeah, try the extra fun. Ew. You're a fast person. No. 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 Okay, all right, let's just judge very quickly then. I told you as a disclaimer, She's not I like hate yeah, but you all the You've got your mind made up. Almost like the broad queen here, okay? I she hate likes all the smooth, extra fine. The only news. extra fine I've ever enjoyed was at Delta Fusion 82. And I know what the whole like nip thing is, you know, people are saying it's gimmicky, and maybe it is, but it just worked and it was smooth. And maybe it has nothing That's to do with the gold. Maybe it's just a nicely maybe tuned. Maybe it's just a nicely tuned. Right. I just don't like extra fine. It did work. This thing does write well. It feels very too. The extra fine feels very toothy. The medium and the stub are Maybe very smooth. Maybe it's my smooth. grip or my angle. Because I hold my my pens much more upright than you. It's definitely your grip. I can say that. I have a finger grip and I hold it upright. When he says toothy, he's not, he does not mean scratchy. Like there's just a leaf. No, it's got a little grab. Yeah, you, little, yeah, you feel it writing yeah. like you would a pencil. A resistance you know, but it. it's yeah. nothing that's going to stop you from yeah. writing at a good pace. It kind of feels like a pencil, you know, where it's okay, got like that I'm, kind of. I'm getting used to it. I like that. I like a little bit of that because I feel like, especially when you're writing with an extra fine. You know, one of the worst things about writing with an extra fine is it shows every little imperfection in your handwriting. And That's when why I don't like it. But when it's when it's too smooth, <laughs> it will show everything. You want a little bit of drag on your extra fine so that you don't see every little shake and shimmy. Especially if you're drinking a lot of coffee, you're going to get a... <laughs> you know? That might just I, be you, Drew. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not going to call this flexible, but good golly, it's really, really easy to get line variation. It does have some line variation. I mean, I understand why they called it flexible before. Right. But it's not flexible. Flexible in the way that most people think flexible. I mean, like, which is I like, can't like easily. Most people oh think God. flexible is like I want it to look like that when I flex it, and that when. Yeah, I'm but not. like, look how easy it is to get lines like that. You can definitely get some line variation. And to be fair, it's easy to get line variation when you have a nib this thin. So, oh. um, I'm excited about these extra fine nibs stubby. because stubby. Visconti, aside from this set, since we've been carrying the brand, has never had a nib this fine. So I think that's gonna be really popular. Of course, it's, this is temporary. It is temporary, but, but I it's think not gonna they're, go, like, they're the gonna extra be, fine. Option. It's not going to go away. I mean, if it's super popular, if it's super yeah. popular, we could tell them to keep doing it, and it might happen. So, there you go. Four that's, new colors. That's right now for today. Four new colors. Number three with the three of us. And see, four this pens. is. See, y'all thought it was fun with just Drew, and then Rachel came in, and everybody was like, "Forget Drew. Let's have Rachel take this Shop thing deliver. over." Now it's like all three of us. Everybody's gonna be like, "This is what we want every day, every time." Or be like, "It's too much. You guys are talking over each other. I Maybe. can't handle." Huh? huh? What? What? <laughs> And that's right dead now. Air, dead air. <laughs> Whoa, that was so uncomfortable. Okay, anyway, that's it for, that's it for this time. Right on, everybody.